Today I'm reviewing and testing the Novsight N30 all-in-one LED headlight, a compact, all-metal, all-in-one unit. How's it perform against other lights like it? We're going to find out. Hello everyone and welcome to Car Light Reviews. If you've never been here before, I perform consistent automotive light tests to help you make the best purchase decision. This is the Novsight N30. A lot of you have asked me to review and test Novsight lights, so this is the first of a few. And like my other videos, I'm going to do an introduction and unboxing, go over the published specs, cover some of the features, and then I'm going to test the brightness and light pattern for both projector and reflector housings to see how it performs. Let's start by unboxing. The first thing you notice, it's, it's a pretty small package. with a thank you card. It's just a very brief product manual. Shows you how to replace your headlights, but it's pretty simple. You remove the old one and put the new one in. Don't forget to aim it. Now I noticed there's some other things in here. Let's take a look. It is a Nano Traceless Magic Sticker. I've never received a freebie like this, but I guess it's the appeal it off and it's sticky and you can like adhere a cell phone to a surface if you need to. Pretty cool, Novsight branded. What else is in here? This is cool. Cool Novsight keychain. Freebies are fun. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we've got the lights. Okay, the published specs of the Novsight N30, 25.7 watts each, 6,000 lumens each, 6,500K color temperature, it has a ZES chip and an IP rating of 68 with a 50,000 hour rating. It does not have an adjustable collar, but it does have a fan and it does have an internal driver. As you can see, it's an all-in-one unit. It does have a two-year warranty and the price at the time of this video per pair before discounts is a very affordable $36.99. So here's my initial observations of this. As you can see, it's, it's compact. It's pretty small. It, it is the all-in-one style. It does have similar specifications and looks very much, but not exactly like the Oxido M3, which I reviewed in a previous video when I compared all current Oxido lights against each other. I'll put a link to that video in the description if you want to see it. The M3 by Oxido came in second place in that video, in my opinion, according to my test, by the way. Now, the thing about this one that I noticed as soon as I got it out of the package is that it has an all metal body and there's really no plastic to be found on it. And it feels very, very solid not cheap. It has a really nice bead blasted type of satin finish to it. And I like the little Novsite logo right, right there. Overall, it just feels like a very sturdy, very tough light. So now's the time to test the light output and see how it performs. And if you haven't seen how I test my LED headlights, here's how. For projector testing, I made a test rig using a 2017 Toyota Camry H11 headlight projector. And for reflector testing, I use an H11 headlight from a 2018 Ford F-150. I use these specifically because they are among the best-selling vehicles in America for over 20 years and are the most common on the road. I'll power the lights using a benchtop power supply, and I'll position the lights hotspot onto a lux meter that is 20 feet away, mounted on my garage door. I'll record the initial brightness and then again after 27 minutes to document how well the light manages heat. I use 27 minutes because that's the average commute time in the United States. My tests aren't for lux number accuracy, but for comparison to a stock H11 halogen bulb, which measures 725 projected lux and 910 reflected lux using my test method. Different tests in different environments will give you different results. So if you want to do the same tests of your own, I list all of the equipment I use in the description of this video. Check the description of this video for important notes on aiming headlights, how to ensure you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the legality of replacing halogen headlights with LEDs like this one. And before I get to my testing, did you know that you can get your hands on a really cool Carlight Reviews LED flashlight keychain? You absolutely can. All you gotta do is visit my Patreon page to learn how and how you can support this channel and help me make more videos for it. So now, let's see how the Novsight N30 performed. For my projector testing, the Novsight N30 resulted in 1320 lux, a very interesting number if you like drag racing, and that is 595 over the halogen 725 lux measurement according to my tests. 
After 27 minutes, it retains an average but slightly surprising 77% of that light output, resulting in 1,016 lux, still 291 over halogen. I say surprising at 77% because a lot of times the all-in-one units get very, very hot and they lose light a little bit more than that. So it didn't do too bad in terms of heat management. We'll get to the temperatures in a little bit. Looking at the projector light pattern compared to stock, it has a flat cutoff, it does have some fuzziness right here, which is common, and the typical weak area right here isn't too bad. I did notice that the light band is a bit narrower vertically than stock, but also not too bad. Now, let's take a look at the reflector. Coming in at 2,340 lux, that's 1,430, over the halogen, 910 lux. And after 27 minutes, it's reduced to 1,801 lux, still 891 over stock almost twice as bright in the reflector. And looking at the reflector light pattern compared to stock, it replicates the stock pattern reasonably well. It doesn't scatter too much on the top cutoff. It does have an odd artifact here, but otherwise this does very well in a reflector housing. As mentioned, there is a published rating of 27.5 watts per light. I observed in my testing 22.1 watts. And for heat management, after 27 minutes, my laser thermometer recorded 121 degrees Fahrenheit at the hottest point. For an all-metal, all-in-one unit, this does pretty well at heat management, and likely that heat management contributed to that 77% light retention after 27 minutes. It could be a lot lower. All-in-one units don't always do very good when it comes to heat management. For an all-in-one unit, this didn't do too bad. First, I really like the solid construction of it. And as far as performance goes, it did similarly to that Oxido M3 that I mentioned earlier in the video. And it should, as the specs were extremely similar. Now, while it wasn't quite as bright as the Oxido M3 according to my tests, it was very close. But it did have a bit better output retention percentage and... It's a few bucks cheaper. And the little freebies are kind of a nice bonus as well. Tell me in the comments what you think and what other Novsite lights you'd like to see me test in the future. Links to where you can buy the Novsite N30 are in the description. And also in the description, you can find a link to a free spreadsheet that I update with every video release that shows the specs and results of all the lights I've tested so you can compare this light to the others that I've tested in one easy view. And once again, I do have a Patreon page, so please support this channel and help me make more videos just like this one for it and get some free car light review items as my thanks. If you don't wanna do that now, at least subscribe and let me know you wanna see more. And if you have a suggestion on what I should test in the future, please leave a comment and I'll definitely check into it. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helps you to find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more. Keep your headlights aimed and drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully.